Auditors needn't be scary. If you know what's on their mind. What will the auditor expect? A certification audit is not the only occasion when the auditor will visit. You will see them again at regular surveillance visits. Besides making a good impression, make sure your systems and documents are maintained, used and up to date. This is what the auditor will expect to see when they come back. What will make the auditor happy? The auditor cannot provide consultancy or explain in detail how to resolve a particular problem or issue. Develop a positive relationship, give clear and timely answers with facts. If you don't know say so rather than hide a problem. Ask for the auditor's opinion. This isn't consultancy but may help save time in addressing any issues. What will annoy the auditor? Auditors are human like everyone else, and they will be annoyed if you try to prevent them doing their job. Don't avoid their questions, as they will know if you are hiding something, don't lie, as when they find out they will lose trust in you, and don't waste their time on things they don't want to look at or spend too much time on things they don't want or need to review. What will the auditor look for? The auditor is looking to see that you have all the required documentation, that your activities and documents comply with the standards, and if your activities comply with your own documentation. Don't write policies and procedures you don't need, or don't intend to comply with. Make sure people are aware and use the documentation, so you can show you comply with the requirements and the standards. What standards does the auditor know about? Whilst the audit will be based on a particular standard, such as ISO 14001, most auditors are knowledgeable about several ISO standards, so use your auditor's knowledge and experience to get a wider picture of how you can improve the ways in which you work. What can the auditor do? The auditor can speak to anyone who is within the scope of the certification and is allowed to request to see any document and walk around the site or facility. Make sure that everyone knows there will be an audit, that documentation is completed and up-to-date, and materials are kept tidy with relevant signage. What can't the auditor do? The auditor can't raise non-conformances where there are no requirements in the standard, or in the documentation, or there's no evidence that you are not compliant with a requirement. You can challenge the auditor if you think their findings are incorrect, however you shouldn't antagonize them unnecessarily.